Now we're going to talk about water chemistry and uh, taking care of your, your pool and making sure that everything is, is balanced the way it should. Uh, you will receive a, if not already, a binder and an owner's manual. Inside that manual, you're, you're going to find uh, information about how to break down your system and how to clean it. And we've done another video on that step by step. And in the back, you're going to find water chemistry record sheets and the ranges that you're going to be wanting to stay inside of. Now, chemistry doesn't have to be difficult. There's really only three things that you're going to look after on a regular basis. The first thing is alkalinity. Total alkalinity needs to be between 80 and 120 parts per million. The instructions to test the alkalinity are here on the right. Before we move on, alkalinity has to be correct. Once we're in the correct range, then we can go to pH. pH ideally needs to be between 7.2 and 7.6. Once pH is correct, then we can look at our chlorine. Chlorine on a residential pool, our ideal range is one part per million to three parts per million. We're gonna go ahead and test our alkalinity first. And we do that by following the steps here on this green, green square. We're gonna fill our tube up to 25 milliliters. And then we're going to add two drops of the 07 region. Shake it. We're going to add uh, five drops of the 08 region. And swirl. Then we're going to add region 9 and count the drops until it turns red. One more drop to get to red, which is eight drops. Eight times 10, our alkalinity is 80. The next thing that we're going to test is our pH. We fill our comparer up to the line on the pH side. We're going to use Regent 14 and we're gonna put five drops in. We're gonna cap and then invert. Comparing these colors, our water is approximately 7.5 pH. Last but not least is our chlorine. We've got our water filled up to the line on the comparer. And we're going to enter five drops of number one and five drops of number two. And again, invert. I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up. These are a little bit lighter colors but our chlorine is somewhere between one and two parts per million. So what do we do with this information? All of our chemicals in this case are in range and that's great. But let's say the alkalinity was a little low or perhaps the pH was high. We have a luxury pools uh, invented and invested and created something nobody else has. And this is our chemistry calculator. It is unique to your pool, your volume, um, and is based on your record in our system. So what you're going to do is go to support systems on our webpage at luxurypools.com uh, and then hit chemistry calculator. And then enter your house number. and last name. Once it pulls your record, it will say, we found your pool and you can now officially record your readings.
it shows what pool we have, which is the Palm Beach. We're going to enter our 80 total alkalinity. We're going to enter our 7 point, let's say 7.6 on our pH, and then our chlorine, we're going to enter a 2. And it tells us that all chemistry readings are within ideal ranges. But let's say that the pH was high. Let's make our pH 7 point, let's say 7.9, and hit calculate. It tells us that our total alkalinity is in the ideal range, 80 to 100, well, 110. The pH is too high. The ideal for range for pH is 7.2 to 7.6. Add two pounds of sodium bisulfate, or pH minus slash decreaser, and retest after one to three hours of circulation. It doesn't get too much simpler than that. No charts, no multiplying by 10,000 gallons of volume. Simply put in your address and your last name, what your readings are, and the system will do the rest and tell you what to add. Any questions, uh, feel free to visit us on the website at Luxury Pools and Living or give us a call. Thanks.